How are you doing on this beautiful Sunday? I'm going to be spending the day at home today because I'm shooting a main video. I just got all ready. I tried to cover this huge pimple on my chin, but let's face it, no amount of makeup is going to cover that beast. And I did my hair straight today. I haven't worn it straight that often recently. So I went for a straight look today and straight down bangs. And makeup wise, I went for orange colors today instead of pinkish. The blush I'm wearing is the Jill Stewart one called 08 Tulip Fields. It looks like that. And the lip liner and matte lipstick I'm wearing is the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in Exposed which I think is the perfect neutral orange color. Outfit wise, I'm wearing a Style Nanda shirt and my shorts are from Big and Viper. I'm going to be making a video all about lunch boxes. So I recently bought a whole bunch of stuff that is really cute and quite unique to Japan, I think. So I want to show you guys and do a little lunch box type haul. Everything's from Tokyo Hands. Although I'm sure there's a lot of cute stuff in other places too, but I just went there. First up is this little onigiri box. So the rice ball. They have all different colors and all different face patterns. And you can put your rice ball in here. I grabbed a few different lunch boxes. I thought this one was really cute. I love polka dots and it says, today's the best day of my life. So it has two compartments. One is here and it has a lid for that and one is underneath. So you can put one for rice or whatever carbs and then one for your veggies and meat on the top. Another lunch box thing, which was too cute not to buy. Look at that, how cute is that? So it's got a little bowl. So I think you can put soup in here, something like that. There we go, and they had so many different colors and faces there. I also grabbed these portable lunch chopsticks. The case has these little cats on them. Pop your chopsticks in there, and these are washable, by the way. And you can just pack them in your lunch. Oh, super convenient. The next things I want to show you are lunchbox, um, like decorative things to decorate your food and make it look really cute, which is really unique to Japan because I've never seen these type of things for lunchboxes before. And I don't know, when I have kids, I definitely want to make them like this. They look so fun. So. They have these silicone cups that you can put inside your lunch boxes to separate the food. So say you want to have different salads or different vegetables. You just you just take your lunch box and you put these inside. And that will separate the items so that they don't mix. Just like that. I swear the Japanese take lunch box baking to a whole nother level. It is like an art. I got these little toothpicks too. They look like little cherry tops. You just stick them in fruit. So cute. Oh, one more lunchbox I got was just a normal style lunchbox. How boring. But there's many compartments and it looks super, super um, practical. I also got this heart-shaped sandwich slicer. How could I ever eat a normal square sandwich again when I could make it look like this? And these are little animal cutouts that you can shape your food into or just add to the food. So, so cute. These are more little toothpicks. Bunny. And finally, the last thing, I got these seaweed hole puncher type things so that you can make cute little faces on the onigiri. I'm going to be using everything in today's video so you will see everything and how it works. I just wanted to show you guys this before I open everything and use everything so you can see how it came in the packaging and I could explain each thing a little bit. Alright, I gotta get cracking on this video. All right, everything is set up. I'm gonna start filming the video now. <sighs> All right, I just finished shooting. It is now 8 p.m. I've been cooking pretty much all day. Now I get to eat some of it though. And I didn't think this would take as long as it did, but I now have to quickly edit my vlog and look at the aftermath of this video. I have so much cleaning. I don't even want to start. Anyways, I've made all this food so my boyfriend and I can eat it now and I'm going to edit tonight's vlog quickly in the next hour and a half hopefully. And I will see you guys later. I think the first thing I want to eat is this quinoa. What do you want to try? Check out this. Oh. It 
It's a tripod for your phone. So you can put on like lamp posts or tables like this. It's pretty cool. -ish. It's from Fit Camera. Okay, I'm not supposed to throw it. How are you guys? I feel like I haven't talked too much today. I've spent so much time doing that video. So I thought we should make it up and have a little chat, a little tay talk. Are you comfy? Are you ready? All right, let's start. Vogue Cranberry wants to know, if you were to get another pet, what would it be and how would you name it? Love you, keep it up. Love you too. And if I were to get another pet, it would probably be another dog. I actually think about it all the time, like getting her a sister or something. And name-wise, I like naming it people names. I think it's funny when they have people names, like Amanda. Or no, something with the R, because Rosie. Roberta. Fullfix Lester wants to know, How are you always so positive? P.S. I love your videos. You're like the older sister I wish I had. Come to Manila, we love you. Alright, I'm gonna start packing. <laughs> Just kidding. How am I always so positive? Um, I guess it's because I've been traveling and living by myself for a while now. And because of that, I've really come to know myself and understand what makes me happy. When you know what makes you happy, you'll know what also doesn't make you happy. So in doing so, you can cut all the negative things from your life. Of course, I don't always feel positive. I wake up and have bad days sometimes too. But I feel like positivity is mostly a choice. You can choose to see the good side of things and the good side of people or the bad side of things. But why put someone down when you can build them up? When you choose to see the good side of things and stop participating in negativity, you'll feel so much lighter, better, happier. And the more you do it, the more you'll want to do it because you'll enjoy the feeling and you'll attract more positive things to your life and positive people. And life's just so much better that way. Hey. Fullpix Lester wants to know, if you spill a cleaning product, does that mean you've made a mess? If you spill a cleaning product, does that mean you made a mess? Depends on the size, I guess. If you can wipe it up with your sock, it's probably not a mess. That's like what I do with food too. <laughs> Male Panda wants to know, Hi Taylor, do you have any tips on getting better posture? Love you. Love you too. <laughs> and no, I don't. I have the worst posture. So you tell me. Crystal with a V, Skies. Crystal Skies. How do you feel about the Kardashians T-Swift drama? Because I know you like both. Love ya. Yeah, that's exactly it. I like both, and I like them both for different reasons, so I don't really care. I don't really pay attention to that drama. I still like them both. Mon Blue wants to know, how did how did you start to meet and become friends with Charlotte, Kim, Mime, and the rest? Um, Charlotte is the first person I met out of that group. Um, we talked on YouTube for like two years prior to meeting, back when I was in Hong Kong, and we planned on meeting for so long, but we didn't meet until a year after I moved to Tokyo and to be honest I feel like a lot of it was my fault like I mean we were both busy and our schedules didn't work but Charlotte's like really open and kind and if you message her she'll usually say yes to meeting up like sh she says yes she has so many friends but I don't know I when I first moved to Tokyo I was so not confident in myself I was so anxious and stressed about being in public and meeting people um, and I think that was because of the type of content I created and the type of image I created for myself to have this perfect image even though I knew I wasn't perfect. So yeah, I really created a really bad environment for myself when I first moved here and I didn't meet a lot of people. However, a year after I moved here, I started meeting people, including Sharla, and since then everything's been really amazing and I've completely <laughs> gone over all that. I've, I've kind of let go, become more of myself, I guess. And um, so yeah, back to your question. I'm answering way more than you wanted to know. But I met Charlotte a year after I arrived and since then I, she introduced me, we met we, we met at Kichijoji in the park and we spent many, many hours together and we became good friends right away. And then we went to YouTube space together and I met Kim Dal there. Charlotte already knew her before. Mime, the first time I met her, where was it? It's definitely through Charlotte for sure. And then B was because she's living with Kim, so through Kim. Ah, I remember now. It was also in Kichijoji. Um, 
She came, Kim was there, and Charlotte was there. We were planning to view the Sakura, but it wasn't out yet, and we were just walking around and stuff like that. But yeah, it's through Charlotte. So it, it kind of, so everyone's kind of linked through Charlotte. <laughs> Eins Locked wants to know, what makes you smile? The one thing that can always bring a smile to my face, no matter what I'm feeling that day, is this little thing. She makes me so happy. Mishko wants to know what's your me time routine like what movies would you watch and what would you like to eat um my me time is definitely bath time a big nice hot bath lush bath bombs a face mask I don't really get into a lot of movies or dramas like I mean the odd one but I like to watch those on the couch with my boyfriend what I enjoy the most is actually YouTube videos I'll watch a lot of YouTube videos in the bath like on my iPad or my phone and food my favorite me time food probably chips okay that's all the questions i'm gonna answer tonight i'm gonna go for a walk with my boyfriend and rosie and i think i'm gonna edit today's video because tomorrow i'm not gonna be home much so i won't be able to edit two videos possibly i'll be able to do one so i'm gonna try and get one done tonight before i go to sleep however now it's 11. I think I just have to sleep less tonight. But I hope you like the lunchbox video anyways, at least. And I hope you'll get inspired to make some healthy lunches. And I need to do all those dishes. Alright, let's go. Okay.